tonight's offering is a short local that is going to be used to switch out the two industries on the upper side of the layout. There's the uh, caboose of the train. And tonight's power is going to be an Elko RS11. Since I haven't really done any videos at all with Elko power, so uh, hopefully everybody's got their gas masks because this uh, this unit tends to smoke like crazy. The bulkhead's open. You're all set. This is true. So anyway, here it is, and it'll be getting underway momentarily. Okay, so the Elko is going to get underway now. The 1800 horsepower 251C is putting on a nice show for us. That's a 12 cylinder turbocharged Elko engine. Elkos are four cycles, so they tend to smoke just like a GE, but they have more of a turbo sound. A wine from the turbo. and a nice X New Haven caboose. Okay, the train has reached its destination for the first industry. And there it is. And this is the meat packing plant over here. Now, the conductor will have to get off and unlock the switch because it is locked. Um, so we don't have derailments. So he'll do that now, and then we'll swap out the cars. Okay, the switch is now unlocked, and the train is going to slowly make its way down the siding. And couple up with the reefer cars. Uh-oh, we're out of power. I forgot, this track doesn't have any power. Guess we're going to have to cheat a bit. Okay, we have a temporary power measure enabled here. So now this train can do its work. try to make a hitch here. I was trying to do it slow and I blew it. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and work the throttle and watch everything at the same time. Here we go. Okay, now the conductor will have to ride this car while we go to our next stop, and then we'll have to run the locomotives around the train to complete this maneuver. <laughs> 